Welcome to Screen Recaps, and today we are going to recapping the movie Susidka. One night, bachelor Petro and his friend Ole, a Porsche owner, arrive at a casino. Petro reminds Ole of their bet. The first to marry must give up their car. Petro is excited to win, knowing Ole is about to propose. Despite Ole's annoyance, he hands over the keys but warns about engine problems, which Petro isn't concerned about. Inside, they meet friends Max and Andri, and Petro toasts to his single life. Ole argues that family adds joy, calling Petro a Peter Pan for avoiding commitment. A bet is made. If Petro can live with one woman for a month, he must return the Porsche. After accepting, Petro ends up spending the night with Lana. The next morning, Petro is startled awake by the doorbell and remembers Ole's sister will be staying with him. He opens the door to find Veronica, who used to be chubby when they were kids. Struck by Veronica's transformation, Petro welcomes her into his penthouse where she notices the provocative art adorning his walls. When Lana appears, he introduces her to Veronica as his housekeeper. After Lana leaves, Veronica unpacks her luggage, unaware that Petro secretly snaps a photo of her from behind. Later, Petro joins his friends for a jacuzzi party, where he shows them the photo, earning their admiration for Veronica's physique. Ole eventually joins them, and Petro confidently thanks him for letting Veronica stay, certain he'll win the bet. That evening, Petro is startled when Veronica's children, Marta and Marco, suddenly hug him. Veronica intervenes, teaching them to greet him properly. She explains she covered the provocative art to make the space more child-friendly, annoying Petro. Frustrated, he calls Ole, arguing the bet was about living with one woman, not her kids too. Ole suggests consulting Max and Andri, who rule that Veronica's kids are part of her, keeping the bet intact. Petro reluctantly agrees, but insists on winning if Veronica leaves early due to finding a job. After the call, he enters the kitchen to discover his fridge covered with the kids' drawings. Petro grows annoyed when Veronica defends her children, explaining that their drawings add color to the house. Later, he tempts them with eclairs while they're told to eat veggies, despite Veronica's objections. The next morning, Petro discovers the kids have used his expensive cologne to clean a rubber duck, and in frustration, he tries to flush it, making them cry. Veronica intervenes, retrieving the duck, after dinner with Ole and Yasha, who complains about taking a taxi, Petro returns to find his gym room filled with the kids' toys and steps on a Lego. He chases them, but they retreat to their wigwam for bedtime. Frustrated, he plans time with Kisa but cancels when Veronica arrives. She hands him drinks, praises his success, and shares her past. Graduating from the conservatory, marrying a controlling man, and now working as an online music teacher, Petro interrupts Veronica's conversation suggesting she's better off consulting a psychologist, as he's not qualified. She thanks him for letting her stay temporarily, promising to find a job soon. The next morning, Petro wakes from a nightmare where the kids demand tasks from him. Later, Kisa, unclothed, is surprised when the kids open the door. Petro quickly covers her, but some contraceptives fall out, which the kids ask about. After a run with Ole, Petro is frustrated by more water balloons and the kids' TV noise. He boxes to relieve stress but ignores Veronica's request to lower the volume, disrupting her online class. A neighbor knocks and damages the internet. The next morning, Petro finds his men's magazine cut up and his passport ruined. Furious, he threatens the kids, just as Ole arrives and greets his sister, who's leaving for her interview. After Veronica leaves, Marta and Marco, now in proper clothes, greet the guests. When offered sweets, they refuse, knowing it's unhealthy. That night, the men watch football while the kids play nearby. Before bed, Ole checks in on their progress, revealing that they're his special agents assigned to stop Petro, whom they believe to be a mutant. Marta details their sabotage of Petro's cologne, magazines, money, and passport, which pleases Ole. He gives them two envelopes, promising gifts after their mission's success. The next morning, Veronica takes the kids out, which makes Petro happy, but he's soon upset to find temporary tattoos on his face. When he tries to bathe, there's no water. At the golf course, Max and Andre mock his appearance, and during a breakdown, women, including Violeta, a mental health coach, document it. Petro vents about the kids, and when a text from his mother arrives, he plans to use her to get Veronica and her kids to move out. At dinner, Veronica asks Petro to drive the kids to a talent show. Petro agrees, but only if she pretends to be his wife when his mother arrives. Veronica readily accepts. The next morning, Vaselina arrives and immediately expresses concern over Petro's weight loss, then shows him photos of potential wives. She hugs Veronica, praising her weight loss, 
but panics upon learning that Petro and Veronica are married. Veronica introduces the kids as hers from a previous marriage. Petro takes the kids to the playground, leaving his mom with Veronica to create tension. At the playground, Petro finds the kids glued to their phones instead of playing. Back at the penthouse, Vaselina criticizes Veronica's cooking, throws out her food, and insults her for not being a proper homemaker. This leads to a heated argument, with Veronica retaliating by pointing out that she also raised Petro without a father. Meanwhile, Petro enjoys showing off at the playground. The women admire Petro's physique, while Marco insists he's a mutant. Petro encourages Marco to be macho, but the boy refuses. Martha believes men should be gentle and responsible, while Petro argues that a real man owes nothing to anyone. Back at the penthouse, Petro is upset to find Veronica and his mom bonding over wine and singing, especially when Vaselina tells Veronica to call her mother. His plan to drive a wedge between them fails. The next day, on the morning of the talent show, Petro panics when he's late. He dresses the kids in cucumber costumes and rushes them to school. On the way, he challenges two women to a race, but Martha gets carsick. At the school, the children arrive late for their performance and the teacher, Natalia, scolds them. The other class wins, and despite Petro's attempt to salvage the situation, the host insults the kids, calling them fatherless orphans. This prompts Petro to punch him, initiating chaos on stage. Veronica witnesses the scene and learns how he defended her kids. While Petro admits fault for being late, Martha shares how much fun she had. To unwind, Petro takes the family to the amusement park, where Veronica gets good news about a new job. Meanwhile, Lana spots them, feeling vengeful. Back at the penthouse, Petro tucks the kids into their wigwam. Sleepily, Marco tells him he's great, even if he's a mutant. And Martha adds, they don't need Ole's gifts because he turned out to be a good person. Realizing Ole's plan, Petro tries to explain to Veronica, but she surprises him with a kiss, sparking a romantic moment. The next day, Lana reveals the bet to Veronica. After a mishap with the Porsche, Petro returns to find Veronica and the kids gone, leaving a note saying, it was a mistake. He tells his friends he won the bet, but Ole is worried that Petro might still pursue his sister. He searches for them but finds no trace of Veronica or the kids. Devastated by Veronica's departure, Petro hosts a party where Ole confronts him about causing it. Petro is disappointed in his friend for using the kids in the bet. Though Ole admits not wanting to lose his Porsche, he sees it as a wake-up call for Petro to consider family life. After taking a woman to his room, Petro watches a video from the kids, who now think he's a mutant for using them. Realizing they found out about the bet, Petro and Ole search for Veronica. They eventually find her leading a choir, where Petro interrupts to confess his love and desire for a family. Veronica is moved and agrees, with the kids supporting the decision. Petro offers the Porsche to the choir to fund their trip to Vienna. After proposing, Veronica accepts, and the choir celebrates with a song. I thought I was doing 